why why the light is on it What are you doing currently? Um, I'm currently trying to get my mood right. Um, so basically, it looks all too bright and that's not how I want it. I want it a little bit um, dramatic. So um, I'm moving things around just to get it right then we can kick off. All right. So welcome back to my channel. Today's video we will be shooting with okay. the famous. Let me focus the camera. On. Can can you come into the light so that they see? <laughs> <laughs> the famous Nana Kuku Sechi, known as Quakes. On Instagram, I'm going to leave his handle down in the description. And we have um, Kabita dressed in whatever it is she's dressed in. Right? <laughs> so what I am trying to do is to bring back a shoot day with. But this time around, I wanted to literally storm his studio, but currently he has none. It's still under production. <laughs> so we are trying to, you know, have him come over to my studio. All this was literally set up by him. So concerning the light positions and all that. And what we'll be doing in today's video is to ask him several questions on how he goes about his production. So yeah, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe. I'll link his handle down in the description. Also, the lady sitting down there in the description also. Yeah. Okay. So I've seen your Instagram, right? And you have very amazing melanin toned images. With my knowledge on light and color, usually I feel like if you want a very good toned image when it comes to shooting dark skin models or even mm -hmm. any other um, color model to be exact, it has to deal with the kind of light you're using. And I usually shoot dark skin models a lot and I use very, very low lighting. Most of, most, most of my dark skin images are yeah. low lighting, but I think I've seen with yours is quite different. It's still high key, but then you maintain that melanin tone. What what is your secret? What can we tell them that you um, don't have to lie to them? <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I mean, basically, what I often try to do is, um, irrespective of how high the light is or how low the light is, um, I try to make sure that I, I I get the details in the skin, right? So that when I'm, and um, the details in the highlights also, right? So when I'm reducing the um, luminance in in the skin, it doesn't really affect everything as much. So, um, I mean, often when you work with the low lights, it's very easy to manipulate it and just quickly get your dark skin. But a lot of times I also, um let let me even take it from the top the the person that i sort of picked up most of my lessons from he likes to shoot a lot of low lights and i'm also a very bright colorful kind of person so okay. um i needed to figure out how to merge um the idea the ideas from, I've learned from how you that side and how my creative exactly that, so, that makes sense um that's pretty much how i was able to find a fine balance between the two. Oh, okay okay what gear are you currently using for today um i'm using the um 6d canon 6d um and 85 millimeter lens sigma i think that looks like a 5d oh sorry that's a 5d 5d mac 4 um and 85 millimeter lens basically that's what i'm using now um what's your lighting setup someone so, asked me what your lighting setups okay 
So um, currently I'm using, I'm using a two lights, well, a three lights set up more or less. Um, I have my main lights um, to the left at a 45 degree angle. I have a rim light um, at the back and I have one um, continuous light at the back with um, the amber feel. So I'm just trying to add a little mood to the backdrop so okay. that we can um, work with the tone. So basically she's wearing a gold um, outfit, right? So yes. um, the decision to go with most of these colors that you're seeing on the set is because of um, how the outfit looks like. She has this gold um, outfit going on a whole um, satin feel. Then she has this wool around the neck. There's this green um, fabric flowing through. We have some yellow in there. So they're just little bits of everything just to complement um, all the things going on. And the brown backdrop also complements um, the props, like the little bag that you're seeing there, the seats and her skin tone and all of that. So yeah, that's pretty much. It's like a master class, so this is should come and pay. <laughs> right, let me leave you to shoot. Different camera, so and if yeah, I figure so out what I'm going to find, he shoots with um, an RP. <laughs> he has been shooting with an RP for a long time, and he saw this camera. <laughs> and for today's video, I wanted to give him my camera, which is a 5D Mark IV, and he's finding a bit of difficulty going about it. But I know he will he, he figure his way out. Well, yeah, guys so if you like content okay. like these you can literally let me know down in the comment section i literally planned on making more content like this literally having every creative known out there for every month but due to unforeseen circumstances i didn't take action right so i wanted to first start with the guy who has everybody's attention on instagram when it comes to tones and all that. It used to be me, but then again, it's not me anymore. All right. So, yeah. looking at the shooting process for all those who've been interested in learning a thing or two when it comes to the shooting process. Look at me. Yeah. Um, this is what he does most of the time. Chin up a little bit. <laughs> Do you think also the model counts when it comes to the kind of concepts you're shooting and all that? Because um, yes, I know, I, mean, I know with this, you really didn't plan anything. I just had everything yeah. for you when you came. You just had to put them together. So, do you think the model also counts when it comes to shooting the um, kind of content? You I, I, I think the model plays a, a major role. Um, I mean, I didn't really have an issue. Um, when I was coming because I know it's you and I know how you do your selections. Um, with me, when I'm working, half the time, I probably have the concept already and I'm looking for a model that fits because oh, I feel okay. like the, the model needs to fit the concept. Otherwise, it, it won't come out the way you're looking for the thing to come out. Um, sometimes I identify a model, but I don't reach out to the person right away. I look for a concept that I think fits the person, then I reach out that, oh, hey, um, let's shoot. I have a concept, let's work on it. So um, the model plays a very key role in all of that, I, I believe, um, because, I mean, somebody might have a pretty face, but what's our concept that you're going with might not need a pretty face. It might need somebody who has some um, specific features that you okay. want to highlight, maybe the neck, maybe the jawline, and probably the eye or some long legs or something. So, yeah. Right. Well, with this model sitting in front of her frame, I have worked with her before. And there's one thing I really like about her. She, she is really good when it comes to posing, right? Yeah. Not as much as she likes to fool a lot. She's really, really good when it comes to posing. And 
makes it quite easier. There are some people I have shot with that uh, you have to go through a lot to get exactly what you're looking out for. Alright, so on that note, okay, what, what's your favorite type of model to shoot? Or oh, keep on shooting, you don't really need to stop um, me. Your favorite kind of model, no discrimination here, but you know, every, every photographer has a favorite. Yeah. I have my um, favorite, you might probably have your favorite. Everybody has, so what's your favorite kind of model to shoot? So, I mean, I, I might have a bias for um, dark skin models. Okay. Um, however, a lo most of the people that I try to work with, I always want to look for a very unique feature. Um, I, I don't want to shoot somebody that is ordinary um, because sometimes you may not have too much of a complex concept, okay. but you need something on the model that makes everything stand out. True. So um, I pick people who have unique features and, and I like to work with them. But I have a very soft spot for dark skins. Um, also maybe because when I started, actually I had an issue with working with light, skin, light skins. I didn't know how to figure out um, how to manipulate all, all the skin tones. Oh, okay. So it, it was a little bit of a hassle. So I spent a lot of time on um, light skin models until, I mean dark skin models until one day I was in the studio, we were having a conversation. Um, also the thing about me is I like to ask questions a lot. I think you, you, yeah. pay, <laughs> you bear witness. Yeah. I'll just move to you and ask you. I don't care whether I'll look dumb or silly. I'll just come and ask because I don't know. <laughs> I really <laughs> want to learn it. So I'll come and ask. And these guys were in the studio talking about um, their issues that they've had with um, some models that they've worked on. And I was, I was like, oh, I think my main problem is um, working on light skin models. Okay. And they all kept saying, oh, but that's the easiest one, blah, blah. And I was like, yeah, but <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I relate because it's not easy. Um, and they mentioned how, okay, so the the main tones that I need to be focusing on are the um, the yellows and um, how to manipulate all of that and and I was like oh okay cool I didn't say anything I had somebody that I had shot that I hadn't touched the image for a while okay and when I went home I spent the whole night I think I got home from um, the studio around 8 p.m. I spent the whole night till like maybe. 2 a.m. Mm -hmm. trying to figure out what to do with the skin and that was my first light skin person I posted and everybody was like wow 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 because mm -hmm. I spent so much time on it I, I I don't care how long it needs to take for me to get the image right get the image right if I'm not comfortable I, I just won't put it out okay and um, I will go to 50 day huh. so you're changing to 50 yeah this box.